Good evening all, welcome to another video on All Hail the Ale. Tonight we're going for a beer that could be a little bit risky for me. Um, I like sweet flavours, don't get me wrong, but this could push the boundary just a little bit too far. But I like to try different things, I've tried most things once and that goes with beer as well. The beer in question is this one. It's the, uh, the Bacchus Cherry Beer from Belgium. And it's a 5.8% Belgian beer, unsurprisingly. And it contains 15% cherries. And yeah, that's, that's that. Now, I like the fact that it comes in a funky little paper wrap, shall we say. And there's a little bit of information on here. And it says it's Flemish Old Brown. A typical Flemish beer with a pleasant wine-like taste and a rich past. This dark brown beer, which is matured in oak casks, has a slightly acidic aftertaste. So, it's a dark beer. Interesting. I've never had it before, so it's interesting to me. Wine-like taste could be good. wonder how the cherry's going to work with that. Matured in oak casks. I wonder what was in them before, if indeed anything at all. We'll find out, I guess, and see what comes with the flavour. Uh, like I say, it's 5.8% and it's a 375ml bottle. 35 cent, 35 and th teeth in and get my words out right. 37 and a half centiliters as well. And it says drink at roughly 5 degrees C. Well, it's about that because, uh, yeah, that is what it is. It says brewed within the kingdom of Belgium. There's not much more to say. Oh, yeah, here's the. Uh, the ingredients list, or is there an ingredients list? No, it just tells you a couple of the ingredients. It just tells you that it contains wheat and malt with barley, sugar and sweetener. And the stevia glycosides come from stevia. So it's a plant-based sweetener. Interesting. But yeah, other than that, water, wheat, malt, sugar, hops, cherry syrup and antioxidants and I've just had to roughly translate that from uh, what I assume is uh, a foreign language. Well, it it's obviously a foreign language. My foreign languages aren't great as I'm sure you've imagined and uh, I wonder how far how, how I'm going to fare in a post-Brexit world. Who knows. Anyway, let's see. Let's see if we can save this paper wrap. I think I wanna, it's quite cool. Okay, so the bottle itself is uh, plain. It's got a bit of a punt in the bottom. Very cool. And uh, yeah, well, best before November 2020. So it's uh, given that it's got a, yeah, it's got quite some time on it. Anyway, let's crack it open because I'm interested to see what this cherry flavoured beer is going to taste like. Ooh. So, it's already said it's going to be dark. Oh, and it's, uh, it's dark ready mahogany colour, almost. There we go. Happy days. So, there's your beer. It's dark, rich, there's a decent head on it. It's, in terms of clarity, it's a pretty clear beer. There's no haze to speak of. And it's very lightly carbonated, very tiny little carbonation bubbles appearing. And the head is almost expanding, that's interesting. I don't know if you can see, it's, it's, it's actually grown over the top of the glass. Interesting. So, smells. I can smell the wine. Interesting. So I wonder if they were white, red wine barrels that it was matured in. And there is a hint of cherry. A real light hint. Like you would get in a Black Forest Gatto. That kind of that kind of dark cherry as opposed to uh, sort of really sweet glacé cherry type flavours and that head is continuing to grow that's that's quite that's quite amazing um, 
to make it difficult to get to the beer. Anyway, let's uh, let's remove some of that, shall we? Hmm. Holy moly, that is a seriously strong cherry flavour. That really is wow. And that's just from the head. Interesting. Oh dear God. That tastes absolutely nothing like beer. It's like cherry syrup. Very, very, very sweet. And if I knew no different, if it didn't have a head on it, you could almost argue that it was cherry juice. It's that fruity and that sweet. That's that's not beer. <laughs> I mean, I like it for what it is. Don't get me wrong. But dear God, that's sweet. I'm not really, I'm not getting any beer flavour whatsoever. None whatsoever. The slightly acidic aftertaste, yeah, I'll give it that. It's that, that sharpness that you get from the cherries. It's dark brown with red. The Flemish beer, well, maybe it is. I don't know. I've not really drunk much Belgian beer. Something I need to correct. A pleasant wine-like taste. Well, yes, it, it is more wine-like than it is beer, in my humble opinion but it's more cherry than it is wine. Now, don't get me wrong, right? I like beer and I want my beer to taste something like, but I want to taste the hops, I want to taste the malt. I don't mind a bit of fruit. I mean, like the jungle IPA that was from Northern Monk over Christmas. That was lovely. That was fruity, but it was still beer. You could still taste the hops and it had that beer flavor. This is, as Al Murray, the uh, the pub landlord, would say, it's a fruit-based drink for the ladies. Um, well, particularly my wife, I think she will love this. She will. She loves cherries. I, on the other hand, I'm going to say it's probably a bit too sweet for my palate. But, like I say, if I want... A sweet drink for a fancy fruit juice I'd reach for something like this fruit juice with a, a bit of booze in it yeah if I wanted cherry flavours this is something I'd reach for now would I buy it again I'm going to be brutal and say for me, I wouldn't buy it again because it's too sweet for my liking. It is cherry overload and then some. And that's fine if you love cherry, but I don't. And it's no discredit. It's nice for what it is, don't get me wrong, but it's just not for me. Um, so my benchmark for a score to buy again is three. And I think to myself, I don't really, I don't dislike it. There's nothing unpleasant, don't get me wrong. But the flavour just doesn't work for me. So with that in mind, I'm going to give it a 2.75 because that's as high as I can go without buying it again on the untapped scores. And uh, yeah, I think I'm, I'm not being horrible to it because like I say, it's, it's nice cherry flavours. But when I drink beer, I want beer tasting somewhere in the flavour flavor profile, you know. So I'm not going to waste it, I'm going to drink it and enjoy it for what it is. And maybe if I'm in the mood for something sweet, I might, might consider it. But when I'm in the mood for beer, no, sorry, it's uh, it's not my cup of tea. So, ladies and gents, boys and girls, wherever you may be watching this video from in this, uh, this, this here world or universe, if you're watching from further afield, this has been the Bacchus Cherry Beer. I've been Nick and I'll see you again soon. Bye.